morning, everybody. Happy TGIF Day. It is February 18th, 2022. I'm in my Morning with Jesus 2022 with my Jesus bookmark. Thank you for waking us up. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see what this one is. I love this little book. It's always got fun stuff in it. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. You hear that? Drive out all demons and cure diseases. Work on your work on your household. Look, look at me. January 30th, I did that to myself. I've been working on the girls. Harley's tumors are shrinking. Although, every once in a while, a new one pops up, and I'm like, really? We don't have time for infliction of, of any kind of illness on my Princess Harley. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke 9, verses 1 through 2. And that's the New International Version. Jean and I watched an animated movie with her grandkids while visiting them. The movie, The Incredibles, featured the Parr family, mother, father, and three children. This was no ordinary family. They were undercover superheroes, and each member possessed a unique superpower. They truly were incredible. Dad possessed superhuman strength and durability, which, as well, he should. Mom stretched like elastic. Well, she keeps, she's kind of the glue that keeps everybody together. Lord knows you need a woman at the helm of the, of the family. The 14-year-old daughter could become invisible. Oh, boy. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. And the 10-year-old son was super speedy. <laughs> and the baby could change his shape. When evil influences threatened civilization, this family combined forces and fought for the good of mankind. Script writers and illustrators used their imagination to create this family with superpowers. Well, or did they get messages from yours truly up there? But know this, as members of God's family, we're filled with supernatural power that's real and enables us to experience victory as we fight spiritual battles. Amen. Jesus gave his disciples special power to build God's kingdom, deliver people from demons, and heal diseases. Other scriptures teach that the disciples received power from the Holy Spirit to also preach the gospel all over the world. Acts 1 through 8, Luke 24, verses 48 through 49. Jesus doesn't expect us to fight the battle against evil with our own strength. It's impossible to do so and win. Therefore, he's given us the Holy Spirit to empower us. He's supernatural, super strong, super wise, super everything. And when he fills and controls us, there's no limit to what he can do through us. Grace Fox, bravo for that writing. Bravo. Because that is true. And my YouTube channel is living proof. Overnight to get 300 more shares, like, whatever. Go from 5,900 to 6,200 overnight. It's amazing. And makes me realize what I'm doing is, is helping others. And you know, when I was sick for so long, I didn't have, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't have a job because I was sick every day. And since January 30th, I've warped my, my YouTube channel up with more devotions, and reading the Bible has been the most fulfilling of my life. When you turn to him, he makes your path straight. And you don't have to try to figure it out. Just kind of go with it. Like I do. I call it my scavenger hunt every day. Because I don't know what's going to happen next. And Dave Rumfeld can attest to that. Because last night, we had a little t discussion. And if he decides to share on his end, so be it. But he had to call me back after we hung up. So, it works. You lay all your troubles at the feet of Jesus. Surrender them. You've got demons in your life? List them. Somebody caused you ill will? Put their name down and surrender them to God. 
Tell them what they did to you and what it did, and then let it go. Don't let it eat you up anymore. Move on from that. I say off with your heads. Everybody, whatever your, whatever your phrase is that makes you feel better when somebody upsets you, then that, that'd be what you need to use in order to move that aside, heal from it, and keep going forward with Jesus by your side, like he's been with me in my pocket every day, beside me, or driving. They're driving now. <laughs> so here's the face step. That's the one thing that I love about, one of the many things I love about this. It's kind of funny. There's three things. It starts with a scripture, has the story, and then a face step. Everything good happens in threes. Matt 333, three, three, just saying. Call to Jesus, Jeremiah 333. Three. So the face step. Invite the Holy Spirit to fill you with his power to deal with the greatest challenge facing you today. How's that for a face step? We can thank Jesus for that. Thanks. Thanks to my little missionaries for that little bookmark. So on that note, stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love you. Bye.